Hello and good evening, my bridges. What the fuck's up, my buddy? What's good? What's popping? A little late tonight. I had to put makeup on, and then Evan and Shannon were having <laughs> quite the conversation upstairs. I'm like, I'm I'm gonna wait till they're done. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Happy Thursday! It's Thirsty Thursday. Not for me though. I'm drinking water. Well, it's like my flavored water. Throwback Thursday, everybody. So I'm going through, funny story, I'm going through my like YouTube feed and everything and kind of figuring out what do I want to do in today's video? And I'm like, you know what? What video did I post a year ago or around like the year ago mark? <laughs> and I'm sure it's how probably 90% of you watching right now probably found me. And that was Jaclyn Cosmetics Lipsticks. So it's officially been one year since my... <laughs> Jacqueline Cosmetics, this is bullshit video. And I figure <laughs> let's rein in the day <laughs> and talk about some of my top favorite nude lipsticks. I was going to do summer lipsticks, but I'm like, no, this was a nude range. We got to talk about some bomb ass nude lips. So before we get into it, I do want to say hello to everybody in the live chat. I am going to be doing lip swatches of everything. I'll have timestamps down below if you're watching the playback. If you want to jump ahead to see any specific shade, because these are pretty shade specific. Like I tried to keep them like as nude as I could, but these are going to be some that are just my favorites. So I'll be getting into those, but I want to say hello to all my britches in the live chat. What's good? What's popping everybody? <laughs> oh my God. There's so many of you already. What's going on everyone? Oh, we have Jamie, Tara, Parnica, Maytel, Princetta, Sherry. We have Leah, Mouthy Mama. <laughs> I think I see Pillow Talk. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let me guess. Are you wearing the Desert Haze shadows? Love those shades on your eyes. I'm actually wearing, fun fact, I have the Tower 28, the Golden Hour blush. I almost said bronzer. Golden Hour blush. These you have to set though. They will crease. So I have that as the base on my eyes right now. And then I have the Physician's Formula Butter Tropical Days eyeshadow palette on. And it is the shade... That one right there. That's what's on my eyeballs and that's it. Boom. How you like that? I was just like, oh, let's try it. I was trying to rock just this on the eyes, but no, it's like a, it's, it's, it's definitely a crease, crease fast when you do. <laughs> let's see. Divine. I, I think that is supposed to be two, right? Divine Rose 2 is coming back on Pat McGrath. Looks like they will have the limited edition pink again. That's the one I'm waiting for. I haven't purchased it yet, but I want to get that packaging because it's Gorgina. So Trish says, hey, Britches, have y'all liked this video yet? I mean, oh, uh, wait. I know Audra and Emily are live right now, so I think a lot of people are probably watching them as well. I was like, God damn it. I just, I know I won't be able to do another video until Saturday, which if you guys are going to be available on Saturday, Saturday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually going to be live with Karen on Karen's channel on Saturday. So that will be coming. I'm really excited about it. And we're going to be using a bunch of Tower 28 stuff. So you're going to see it on two different skin tones. I'm really excited. Cannot freaking wait. Sherry says, I ordered the Tower 28 blush two days ago. Girl, I can't wait to see what you think of it. So if you guys like these types of videos, don't forget to thumbs it up. Or if you don't like it, thumbs it down. I'm not going to hate. Just give me that engagement and let me know what you guys like and don't like. Oh, we have Jacqueline. What's up, girl? I was watching your Sephora haul earlier today. I'm like, I'm a little late on the Sephora haul, but I love haul videos. I'm such a nosy bitch. Hashtag nosy britches out there. I love hauls. Oh, my God. If you guys haven't checked out Jacqueline, ch checked out, checked out Jacqueline's channel, make sure you guys do it. She's so funny. Um, Divine Rose. Let's see, 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Ooh, I'll be there with bells on then. All right, let's get into my top five nude lipsticks in my collection. And we're also going to look back a little bit on what I learned from the whole Jacqueline Cosmetics. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you guys? Okay, I know a lot of people found me from that video. Did you guys ever see that video? It's still up on my channel, and it makes me so infuriated that like that video. There's two Jacqueline Cosmetics videos and they're my top watched video on my channel. I'm just like, can I get noticed for something else other than bitching and complaining on the internet? <laughs> 
So I still do have those videos up. I was very, very passionate. I'm still like pissed to this day about that whole situation. But I figured let's turn a negative into a positive. And I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite nudes in my entire collection. These are going to be top five, top five status. So I'm not going to rank them because I can't do that. I'm just going to kind of pick and choose. I have one honorable mention because you can't get it anymore, but it was such a good shade and I loved it. Like I said, I'm going to do lip swatches as well. So I hope you guys like it. If you do or don't, thumbs up or down, like I said, and also share. Share on your other social platforms. Sharing is caring, you know? Share me with your friends. So first one up, I'm going to talk about... Oh, what one do I want to do first? <laughs> I think I'm going to do Proba Beauty. This is a relatively new brand for me, but the formula on these... Oh my gosh, I have the shade Finesse. This one is one of the most perfect true nudes. It leans a tiny bit brown, but I feel like whenever I wear nudes, like you're going to see when I swatch some of these on my lips, you're like, no, you need like a lip liner. This is one of those nudes I feel like I could apply it without a lip liner and it's going to look still normal and it's not going to look crazy on my face. I just think this formula is amazing. It is going to be a very luminous like very satin finish like you could see the satin finish right there such a <laughs> such a gorgeous i almost said bomb ass and gorgeous at the same time such a gorgeous formula i ordered the entire range what's that tell ya? so i will have a full dedicated lip swatch video just to these when that comes i think they're supposed to come at the end of june because i had to pre-order them but I'm going to show you the shade Finesse today. These are very soft. So when you use these, I'm getting to the point now the dip is not so intense with this. So I could actually apply it like normal. These are very, very soft. So don't like wind it up all the way and apply it because it probably will, you know, bend and everything. But just so you guys can see on my lips, just how beautiful this formula is. And it's so comfortable. A lip swatch video is probably not the best type of video to do live, but it is what it is. It's either this or I don't have a video. I think you guys would rather see videos than not see videos, you know? So this is going to be the shade Finesse. I think it's a perfect nude, like one of the best nudes that I've personally found. My favorite thing about these, though, is the formula because they are, like I said, they're that set and finished, but they're almost like... It almost feels like a lip balm because they're so like nourishing and hydrating feeling on your lips. What do you guys think? What do you guys, I forgot to put my ring on after work. God damn it. Ah, oh, I've been wanting to order from Propa. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's Propa or Propa. I feel like it's Propa. I could be saying it wrong. I need to get verification on that. I'm excited to get my, <laughs> I'm going to say Propa. I'm excited to get my Propa when they restock. So good brit you are honest and it's the best thanks girl um <laughs> jennifer i've not seen it it could be worse you could be robbie to christy with a microscope that was such a good ass video though i'll that was a good ass video oh i'm here though and i'm ready <laughs> is that audra are you out here seriously on your live chat and <laughs> in my chat this video is actually audra's idea because i'm like you know, I was trying to think of like products that I wanted to use and I'm like, I really don't want to like shit talk the whole Jacqueline cosmetics thing is like a dedicated video, but I still wanted to like mention the fact that a year ago today was the whole Jacqueline cosmetics thing. And I was just like, just do like, just do like a lipstick video or something like that. <laughs> I was like, yep, that sounds good. <laughs> just talking about some bomb ass lipsticks. So here we are today. Have you guys ordered any of these Propa Beauty lipsticks? I know a lot of you guys did after, like you saw my original video. I'm still loving these. Still loving them. Let me know if you got them. Let me know if you tried them. I think Jamie, if she's still on here, she ordered the entire line. I was like, God damn. <laughs> so this is, man, do not sleep on these. I believe they are still available for uh, I cannot talk to save my life. They're still available for pre-order. When I purchased the rest of the range, they were doing, I think it was 50% of the proceeds went to charity, but I think that stopped. I think that ended on the 5th, I could be wrong, but they do have a pre-order going on. Finesse, Finesse and Mag her magic, I almost said magic hour. Finesse and her magic are my top two favorites, but I think that there's one more 
like more of a nudish tone. I think I'm going to really like that one too, but it's this form like it's the formula that is so good on these. If you're deeper in complexion, definitely check out this range. I think it's Gargina. I saw Morgan Turner came up in here. Morgan, what's up, girl? Morgan is another phenomenal makeup channel, you guys. If you have not checked out her channel yet, make sure you do. <laughs> Jacqueline, <laughs> not yet, but they look Gargina. <laughs> they are so good. <laughs> Yeah, Jamie ordered at the end of my original video. I know, I was, I was like, God damn, because when you guys do use my discount codes for Propa, I could see, I can't see who it is, but she had tagged it on Twitter, so I knew it was her that bought the whole range. So thank you guys so much if you guys use my discount codes. Anytime you guys use my affiliate links, I always appreciate it because I do reinvent, like reinvest it back into my channel. So I always appreciate it. Uh, what's even funnier is that Morphe did a very soft launch of an extension of 15 more brushes to her line. <laughs> I just can't even deal. I just thought it was hilarious that I'm like, what video did I post like a year or two ago? And <laughs> the first one, and it's to the day, it was June 11th of 2019. I'm like, I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> but I will say that whole situation, I did learn a lot. I learned a lot to actually like look at my cosmetics, actually check batch codes. If I have contamination issues, that's one thing that always like infuriates me because everybody always goes the fuck off. If there's ever like a contamination issue ever since that whole situation, people will go online and just trash products. Like I remember seeing the Jeffree Star like palette and there was like a select other few that people just started blowing up. I'm like, listen, not every situation is the Jacqueline Cosmetics like lipstick gate, okay? Post your fucking batch codes. If you have a contaminant in your product, post your batch, co batch codes. That way people know if they have the same batch codes, th they can contact customer service. Like the, the whole reason that the whole thing was such a big deal is because the entire range had the same batch code. So that's where I'm like, I learned a lot from that whole scandal. But the next one, Tarte Cosmetics, this is the rum punch i believe these are called the c c splash lipsticks i have all these linked in the description box i feel like i talk about these all the time like all these lipsticks that i'm talking about i talk about them all the time because they're my favorite formulas like the formula of them is so bomb this one is going to be it's not really as like luminous as the propa it's going to be still like a satin finish i think but it's not as shiny it's not as moisturizing, but I feel like this is really long lasting. It's not as long lasting as another one that I have, but I really enjoy this formula. Let me see what you guys are saying as I'm applying this. And this is going to be like one swipe application. This shade's a little bit wonky because it's a little bit older, but that's another one. It's just like a perfect nude for me. I'll show you the one swipe application so you don't think I'm bullshitting you. Like, one swipe. Those are actually pretty similar. I think the purple one is a little bit more brown tone. But you can see, like, see how the purple, you could see the sheen that it has. Like, it has almost like, it's not quite a gloss, but it has that sheen to it. Whereas the Tarte one does too, but it's not as reflective as the purple. So the purple one is, oh my God, it's such a good formula. It is just very, very soft. So if you guys do get it, like I said, it's a very soft formula, but this one here from Tarte, it's just a perfect nude. It's a good-ass nude. Who doesn't love nudes, right? <laughs> Brittany, what's up, girl? It's always weird when I say, like, Brittany and it's not my name. <laughs> Is anybody else like that? <laughs> what are your guys' favorite nudes in your collection or, like, your favorite lipstick formula? I like knowing, like, shade specifics. Like formula and shade specific. That's what I'm talking about today. Thoughts on the new Charlotte Tilbury wedding themed lipsticks. I almost bought them. I was about this close. The reason that I did it is because when I posted it on my community tab, there was not a lot of interest in it. Like there wasn't a lot of like thumbs up. That's kind of how I'm judging how I'm purchasing now. Like if you guys are excited about it, then yes, I will buy it. But since they're $34 and then when I see limited edition, I'm like, do I want it? I would have purchased them if the packaging was different. So actually that'll kind of lean perfectly into the next one. So this is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk <laughs> as somebody called this earlier. So I love the formula on these. It is going to be a matte finish. 
but it's the most comfortable matte formula. Probably, I, I want to say on the market, but I've not, I haven't tried every single lipstick on the market. To me, out of all the matte lipsticks I have, it's the best. It is the best formula because it's outrageously comfortable. It glides on really nicely. It doesn't accentuate like funkiness in your lips. Like if you have chapped lips, dry lips or anything like that, it just looks like a beautiful lipstick. But with the new like bridal theme ones, like I love the colors of them, but I'm like, if the, like, I wish there was just something prettier with the packaging. Like I wish that, not that this packaging isn't pretty, but since they are limited, I was kind of hoping that not just the box was special because I don't keep the boxes for my lipsticks. I mean, I keep the boxes for like everything else right now, <laughs> but I don't keep the boxes for my lipstick. So I'm like, I wish that the outer packaging of the lipstick was just a little bit more special, limited or whatever you want to call it. But this is another one. It's just, it's just a perfect, this is like my lips, but better. That is exactly what this lipstick is for me. Oh, it is so comfy. Mm, this one's going to lean a little bit more pink, but I I typically like a pink nude. That's just my preference. I'm going to swatch. I always swatch these terribly when I do them this way. So that's going to be a swatch of that one. It doesn't really swatch the best. You have to go kind of back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what else to tell you. It's just a bomb ass nude lip. <laughs> um, I see Mac Whirl. I think I own that. It's just, it pulls very, very dark on me. Like when I think of nude, I think of like a My Lips But Better situation. Not that Whirl is not a nude. I just wasn't, I don't know. Like I usually don't gravitate towards dark lips anyways for lipsticks. I do like liquid lipsticks for shades like that. That shade is beautiful, but these shades for me are just better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Cherry is fire. I have nothing from Clinique, I don't think. Mm, but after Michelle Wong's video today, I'm going to need that bronzer. <laughs> no lipstick boxes, who are you? I know, right? Oh, there's another. Mac Whirl Mented Cosmetics. Nude La La, Propa, Her Magic. Yes, 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 yes. Princetta, you have darker complexion, correct? I've never tried Mented. I, somebody just said that to me the other day that I need to look into that brand. Um, lo Love the shades of the Charlotte Tilbury, but I can't just uh, justify the price right now. I wish, this is what I wish that she did with those, um, like the bridles. I wish she did like a mini set. Like mini set of three for a fraction of the price. That would have been perfect. That would have been pure perfection because then even if it's your wedding day, you could have changed them all out throughout the day because one of them could have been your ceremony. The next one could have been your um, like pictures and stuff. And then the next one could have been your first dance. It would have went perfectly with the names and everything. I'm like, Charlotte, you dropped the ball on that one, girl. Come on. Okay, so, so far we've got Propa, Charlotte, Tarte. Again, I have these all linked down below. Uh, my favorite lipsticks are Pat McGrath, Giorgio Armani, and NARS. Speaking of NARS, that's the one we'll talk about next is NARS Audacious, guys. <sighs> NARS Audacious are so good. Don't kill me, people, but the Hermes and House of Sia Siage, right? Jacqueline's a bougie bridge, huh? <laughs> no, I really want to try the Hermes. I almost, I almost bought one today. Oh, my God. I had such a conundrum today. I didn't end up buying it yet. You remember those Dolce & Gabbana blush duos that I've been eyeing forever? They finally launched at Harrods, okay? One of them's available. I really wanted the other one. The shipping is $30. <laughs> I'm like, I, can't, I don't know if I could justify $30 shipping. I have the hardest time paying for shipping. I don't know what it is about me. I hate paying for shipping, but I'm like... The blush duo alone is 60 bucks and then $30 for shipping. I'm like, oh, I was like, I'm going to wait. If the other one comes available, I'm going to buy both of them. But Hermes, I'm going to buy at Nordstrom, I believe. I like the MAC and Smashbox lipsticks. I do like my NARS Audacious. So I picked the shade Barbara. If I was to pick 
I'm going to say it. If I was to pick any lipstick formula that's my favorite, it's this one. I think Propa is going to come in second. I think. The only reason that I think Propa would be number one if more of the shades were more suited for my skin tone, which I'm not pissed about because I love the shade range that they did. That's the only thing. Like if they had like a pinky nude, oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to say that. This is my number one especially for $12 for these damn lipsticks. It's nuts. Anyways, let's get back to NARS. So these NARS Audacious, these are going to be one swipe full pigment. It's nuts. It's so nuts. These are hella expensive, but they're so fucking nice. They're such nice lipsticks. Jacqueline, the Hermes, if you were to compare it to a lipstick formula, what would you compare it to? Yeah, may tell, right? $30 for shipping. That's a lot. For real. For real. But it comes from the UK. So I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. You know? Oh my God. I just, I love these lips. These, I don't know what is so particularly special about this formula. It makes my lips, I think, look better. Do you guys notice that at all? I don't know. It's just something. I feel like it has the perfect amount of like satin, luminous, longevity. Like it has like everything. Like this is, yeah, this is my favorite lipstick of all time. I said it. I said what I said. Um, I think I've paid for shipping once and my husband asked if I was feeling okay. Right? I hate paying for it. Um, Harrods orders deliver in two days, but I wish they have a set shipping for makeup addicts like that. Uh, yes. Right? Right? Mm. Jacqueline, where are you? Like, where are you located? I still don't know if I want... Like, okay, if if other blush... Because here was my thing. I'm like, if I get this blush and I love it, I'm going to want to buy the other one. But I don't want to pay $30 for shipping twice. <laughs> that is, that's like the thought process that goes in my mind. I got NARS Anna and I love it. I also have Anna that I was between Barbara and Anna for the pick today. I have Barbara, Anna, and Anita, and I love them all. This is like, this is the range I would buy every single lipstick of because I think it's such a beautiful range, such a beautiful range and an even better formula. It's so nice. So that is the NARS Audacious. Let me find, oh, I'm like, where'd my makeup wipes go? Your lips are smooth as fuck with the NARS. Yeah, it's like, I just feel like my lips look better. Like, they're absolute best with the NARS. Audra, is it? Is it you? <laughs> is that you on your fake ass account? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lisa. Hey, Brad, I just got 15% off Tower 28 site using your... <laughs> using code Better Ways. I might need to place another order because Karen Harris is putting me to shame on our video on Saturday. If you guys missed it, Karen and I are going to be live on Karen's channel on Saturday. I think that's going to be such a fun video because we both have different skin tones. I think we're going to use the same products on this on two different skin tones. I think that's the route that we're going in. Oh, if you guys get anything, let me know. Have you tried the M Cosmetics Gloss in Magic Hour? I think you would love it. I haven't yet but I need to, I really need to. I miss the bite lipsticks. The power, what is it? The power move, the ones that look like a crayon or like a pencil or something like that. The ones that are like long and skinny, that is such a comparable formula to the Amouge Bouche lipsticks. I actually like those better. I just don't have, I only have the shade Kava and I would have had that if I had like a nude shade, I would have had that in this video today because I love that formula. It's just, I only have the shade Kava and it's like a, it's like a nude, but it leans more almost like grayish lavender toned. It's really beautiful. I used to wear it a lot when I first got it, but I think that's more suitable for like fall winter time for me. Oh, let's see. The Hermes satins are like Tom Ford, a little more nourishing than Charlotte Tilbury kissing formula. And I'm in California. Well, God damn it, girl. I was hoping you were closer to me, but thank you for that. I haven't tried Tom Ford or Charlotte Tilbury kissing formula. So that helps me not <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Oh, let's see. M Cosmetics are lovely. I need to, I need to invest more. 
Definitely. Okay, next one. This was supposed to be a short ass video and look at us now. Okay, Artist Couture. These are the Silk Cream Lipsticks and this is the shade Boy Toy. This is gonna be the most pink toned. I just, I look at the shade, I'm like, okay, there's not anything particularly like incredible about it. It's just, I feel like this is, this is just a really nice go-to lipstick for me. Cause when I got it, I reach for this, I reach for it all the time. It's definitely better when I have a lip liner cause it is slightly lighter than I would typically like. Look at me trying to talk and put on lipstick. See how it's a little bit light, but it's not too light. These are $18. So for being like a brand at Sephora, I'm not pissed at $18. And I think the formula is really nice on these. It's really comfortable. I would say it leans more matte, but it's still, I don't know. Maybe I would say it's like a, it's like a satin matte. It's got, it's very comfortable. It doesn't feel drying on the lips or anything like that. I love it. I felt like he did a really good job with his shade range as well. I believe there's six shades of these and there's pretty good variety within only having six shades. And this is going to be a smaller, it's, it's going to be like an indie brand. It's owned by uh, Mac daddy or I feel like that's what he's known as angel angel, AKA Mac daddy. I really like these. I think the packaging is, it's just like bougie, but basic. It's just nice. It's a really nice formula. I'm so into it. Those are, is that, is that five? Am I missing one? No, I did my NARS. No, that was my five. Now I want to give you guys an honorable mention because this, this lipstick is so special to me. Okay. So I have to mention it. It's not available anymore, but I like mentioning it whenever I can because it's special. The Mac Samantha Ravindahl lipstick. It's in the cream sheen formula. It's super duper like wet looking. Oh, it's so, so nice. It's, it's definitely a lipstick you need to kind of go over quite a few times, but I just thought the shade of this was perfect. I thought it just, it nailed it. Like it nailed it for like a lipstick version of Samantha Ravindahl. When you swatch it, it's very, very sheer. Like, I feel like you can barely see it. It does have that pinky tone to it. This is just so nice because I love Samantha Ramadal. <laughs> I really like the cream sheen formula though. And the reason that this is so special, like I'll never get rid of this because actually a subscriber in Canada sent this to me. It was one of those things. It was when I was, actually, it wasn't even a subscriber. It was on my, um, it was on my Facebook when I was doing Facebook lives all the time. There was one girl, she lived in Canada and I reached out to her. I'm like, Hey, will you buy this lipstick for me and send it to me and I'll pay you for it. And she freaking sent it to me. And she's like, no, just have it. Da, da, da. I ended up sending her like a box of stuff. Cause I was so thankful, but it's just, it's just a pretty nude lipstick. So what is your guys' favorites? If you didn't comment them already, do you guys like the shades that I liked? Do you think they look good on me or don't you think they look good? They all look better when I have a lip liner on, but I just was like, you know what? Let's talk about my favorite nude lips and let me know too if you guys want a like summer, summer type of lips because I've got those too if you want to see that. Oh, let's see. UPS just delivered the Charlotte Tilbury wedding lipsticks to my door. No bridezillas. <laughs> Are you going to do a lip swatch video? If you wanted to see those swatched, go check out Jacqueline's channel. I'd be interested in hearing your opinion on the Nabla lipstick. I haven't tried Nabla. I have not tried their brand yet. My fave is Mac Babe Town. Not sure they even make it silly. <laughs> I feel like if you loved it, they probably don't. Cause I feel like that's what always happens when you love something. It always gets discontinued. Um, I do like the shades. I have very similar ones. Yes. The shades you use were all nice. I have like five of the Natasha Denona nudes and I like those. I really want to try those. I really, really want to try those. Yeah, girl, summer lips. I'll have to put that on my list of things to do then. <laughs> you look good at everything. Fucking love you. It, <laughs> I'm like, is that Audra? <laughs> Notice she hasn't answered me. <laughs> 
Notes that I've been really liking lately are the Melt Cosmetics Bullet Lipstick. Very creamy matte. I have never tried those either. Yes, girl. Lip swatches are coming. Fingers crossed tomorrow. Okay, so if you guys want to see the Charlotte Tilbury ones, go check out Jacqueline's channel. But that's going to be it for my top five, well, six favorite nude lipsticks. Revisiting back to the whole Jacqueline Cosmetics. It was a shit show. And we haven't seen anything since. Nothing was ever relayed to the customers. I still stand where I stand with the brand. I do not support the brand. I do not purchase from them anymore. I just wanted to show some other brands some love in lieu of it being the one year since, you know, one of my <laughs> unfortunately top performing videos on my channel. <laughs> oh, she did answer? Did she? Did she? Oh my, I can't see it. God damn it. <laughs> Canadians are awesome. I have friends to help me with stuff I want to purchase and not available in the US. They are. They're the freaking best. Oh, uh, I love the nudes. You know I'm a neutral girl. <laughs> I knew you'd be here with bells on, girl. <laughs> I'm Canadian. Anyone need anything, hit me up. <laughs> uh, which color are... Are you in the Tower 28 bronzer? I am wearing, actually, the shade West Coast. I'm the lighter shade. I could wear both, but Best Coast, which is the deeper one, that pulls very red tone on me. Bite Pepper is my fave. Also, Anita, Urban Decay, Liar, and these shiny Revlon ones. They are new, too. I need to, like... I need to get blown away by something at the drugstore in... in like this time. I feel like I, I feel like the drugstore is such a snooze fest lately. I'm spitting all over the place. I really do. I haven't seen anything remotely interesting at all come available at the drugstore recently. Oh, let's see. How much stuff is here that US people can't get? I want a depth palettes and they don't ship here. Where, where are you? Are you in the U.S. or are you in Canada? How much stuff is here that you... Have? Okay, so you are you must be in Canada. If you're in Canada, like, Kara C gets adept. I almost bought the Jekyll and Hill lipstick. So glad I waited. I would, I'm still... I'm like, I'm just so bummed over that whole situation to this day. Only because you know damn well that there's people still using those lipsticks. And it's just, you know, thankfully, nothing seem to have happened to anybody but the fact that it was just like that much of like an uncontrolled contaminant it was just like that's the stuff that i can't support a brand if you know you can't really make the situation right i just feel like it was just a shit show and then just the fact like there's no even record of them anymore like on their instagram no, it's like it never happened so that's where I'm just like, I don't know. It's just, it's shitty. It's shitty that it happened, but it did, it, it did help me pay attention to a lot of things. It also helped me realize like what brands to give my money to and what brands not to. That was like, I think the first brand that I was like, I'm not purchasing from them anymore. Um, but the biggest thing is check your batch codes. That's like the biggest takeaway, I think, from that whole thing. And if you have an issue with your stuff and you share it on social media, make sure you share your batch codes. Oh, let's see. Oh, Kerosene got a PR package. Oh, see, that, that's kind of weird. Like, why send a PR package if you can't... Why send a PR package to somebody in Canada if you don't ship to Canada? Is anybody buying the Kaleidos launch today? Is anybody interested in it? Like, I'm hemming and hawing about buying those. Please try the House of Siage lipsticks. I want to. They're just so expensive, right? Aren't they, like, insanely expensive? Oh, there's just so much stuff that I want. I don't mind spending the money on makeup, especially, like, luxury makeup. I don't know who the hell I think I am. Like, am I Michelle Wong or something? Because I'm so into luxury and high-end makeup right now. That's where I'm like, I think it's just because I'm so bored with the drugstore. But the House of Siage, I keep seeing, like, all my favorite influencers. They're all, like, being sent PR. And I'm just like, I want to. <laughs> because, the, like, the packaging, oh, my girl, is so gorgeous. 
honestly, it's usually the other way around where Canada can't get U.S. stuff, but every now and then there's something that Canada has that U.S. does that, right? Maybelline just came out with the Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. They are very plumping, not sticky and juicy lips. I don't think I saw those. I don't think I saw those. <laughs> Not going to lie, the Jaglin Hill lipstick shades were beautiful, but yeah, hard no. I felt the exact same way. I felt the exact same. I loved, I loved the range that she had. That's why I bought them. <laughs> I was so into it. I was so excited about it. And then I was just like, oh, wow. Am I so disappointed about it now? Love Revlon's new matte lipstick. Okay. I need to like go in the drugstore or something then. I love Kava. Same. Same. I may get one of the older palettes and a new highlighter. Oh, we're talking about Kaleidos now. Love the look of the whole release. Yes, buying the palette tonight for sure. <laughs> um, I have a lot of colors in the Kaleidos palette and dozens of highlighters, so I'm passing on the Kaleidos, but it's cute as fuck. <laughs> I think I was only going to get the palette, I think, if I got anything. Um... Yeah, the House of Siage are the ones with the fancy bow cases, right? Yes, yes, they are. And they're, they look gorgina. House of Siage sent me their summer collection lipsticks. They are beautiful and video is up. You need it in your life. <laughs> Girl, how do you get... We need to talk. I'm like, how did you get PR from that? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to have a Manny moment. If I was only on their fucking PR list. No, I, I honestly don't have a problem with spending money on luxury stuff. It's just there's so much that I want now. And then Wayne Gosh just announced that he has new brushes coming out. I'm just like, what do I want to buy? <laughs> That's where I really take your guys' like, feedback. I really take that with me. Because obviously, if you're going to want to watch it, I'm more likely to buy something like that. Whereas if you're like, nah, bitch, pass, then I'm not going to buy it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Is the L'Oreal mascara with the butterfly wand new? It's the same for you, but with this really cool one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Jekyll and Hill were proof that pure, pure ish can be pretty from a distance. <laughs> it's like a Monet situation. I have actually heard that from quite a few people about that butterfly mascara, that it's a really good mascara. I want to get on, the, I want to get on Tower 28 and Kosas PR, right? Tower 28 sent me their, they sent me the bronzers last time. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad that they're getting like all the attention that they deserve right now. Like when everybody's like, why is everybody talking about Tower 28 or are you guys sponsored? I'm like, no, it's because they're fucking bomb, man. Like they're just bomb. Their products are so good. I've been buying so much makeup, some of it luxury. It's kind of a coping thing. Mm hmm. It's the little things that make us smile. I know, girl. Oh, man, I want those Wayne brushes, but I have too many brushes, actually too many, where I have to put some away. I think, I don't think I'm going to buy all three. I'm leaning mostly towards the smallest one because of, I have that, um, the multitasker brush. Like everything, that's definitely not the right brush. I feel like everything that those new brushes do, the multitasker already can do. You know what I mean? So I want to get like one of them just to see what it's like. Because he said they're like his softest brushes that he's made so far. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see if I end up buying them. I can't get with Wayne Gosh's new brushes. I purchased Sonia G. Sonia G. Mm. Eye brushes and the BK Beauty brushes. I'm tapped out. Guys, oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you. Guess what's getting restocked this weekend? I don't know what day, I don't know what time, but this is like my current favorite foundation brush. It's so bomb. It's restocking this weekend. And they told me today, they e or no, they emailed me last night and they told me to tell you that it's restocking. <laughs> so I have my discount code down below. If you guys do shop BK Beauty, you can turn on like email notifications if you want to be notified via email. Let's see. Gucci Carol Beige. I almost bought that during the VIB sale. Gucci, hold your man. Any Gucci lipstick. <laughs> 
Jennifer wants the Wayne Goss brushes. Oh my God, so fun. Butterfly mascara has been out for a while unless they revamped it. That's my thing with like the drugstore. I can never tell if it's like, cause it, it feels like their boxes always say new on them, but I'm like, but I could have swore that I've seen this here before. So it seems like they're always like, I don't know if there's changing like ingredients or what the hell they're doing, but it's like, it looks the exact same, but it still says new. It's like, how, how, how does this work? I don't know. <laughs> there's so much I want. I can't decide what to get. That is me right there. That is 100% me. Jennifer wants the two bigger ones. I would want the two bigger ones if I didn't have that multitasker brush. Um, the sky eye set from Sonya G is all, <laughs> all you need in your life. The best, best, best. I have the Sonya G Worker Pro. That's the only Son. Is that the only Sonya G brush? I think that's the only Sonya G brush that I've gotten so far. Mmm. Oh, girl, really restocking MPK brushes? Damn, here I go again. <laughs> it's just that I'm pretty sure it's that only that one brush that's restocking because I think that's the only one that's sold out. But I did mention um, some of my current favorites in my May favorites for... Was it my May favorites? It was either, either my April or May I mentioned brushes, but I will have um, brush videos coming soon, soon-ish. Um, I think the only new mascara from L'Oreal is the Bambi eyes. I think you're actually right. I think you're right there. Oh, Canadians. Quill brushes at shoppers are a dupe for the Sephora ones. Well, we don't have shoppers drug bar here. I, I'm so jealous that you guys <laughs> have. I'm so jealous you guys have shoppers drug mart. But then I think it's probably comparable to Ulta. Let's see. Are the Sonya G better than the Wayne Goss? I love my Wayne Goss. Uh, Amber, I believe the, the face restocked today, actually. I believe it restocked today. I have no idea what brand of brushes I own. I got them in group out a year ago. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, that's going to be it for today's video. <laughs> This went way longer than I was anticipating, but I love chit-chatting with you guys. You guys are always so fun. Um, Jennifer, I have not tried the butterfly wand yet, but I will be on Karen's channel on Saturday. So Karen Harris here on YouTube. I'll link her channel after the fact so you guys have it. I'll leave that link down below so you guys can come hang out with us on Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's 11 o'clock Central Time, 9 o'clock Pacific Time. I think check us out on there. And then other than that, I think I'll be back here. I don't fucking know. Turn on your notifications and then you'll get notified when I'll be live again. Or if I will be uploading, I don't know. I'm a hot mess right now. That's all I got for you. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you, Kimberly. Don't forget to thumbs up the video or down before you guys leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have any requests, let your girl know. Keep an eye on my community tab. I'm always sharing things. Oh, last thing, last thing. If you guys did not watch Kelsey Brianna J's video today, it was her, Kinky Sweat, and also Glam Girl Chelsea. They did a Q&A with the CEO or one of the CEOs from Beautylish, Niels. I was calling him Nils. It's Niels. Um, they did a really great video today, very informative, and it kind of gives you an idea of how things work on the back end as them being a retailer for other brands. I know one thing I found very interesting was um, some people had asked why Beautylish supports Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And he gave a really honest answer. I felt like his video was really like or his video. I felt like their video was really great today. And like I said, it, it just gives you an idea as a consumer kind of, I know we look at at brands in a certain way we're like oh they shouldn't be they shouldn't be providing his products and this and this and that which is valid it's it's valid it just kind of gives you it gives you his perspective it gives you the business perspective and they asked some really great questions it was a really great video definitely go check that out i'll leave that link down below after the fact as well because i forgot to do that before so other than that hopefully i'll see you guys on karen's channel on saturday 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bye.